got a uh, Vokey wedge and oh man these things are Yeah, but... it's, it's like if uh, you made like a retro 90s looking club, yeah. yeah, graphics. Oh, that is right at it. Oh, nice shot. <laughs> All right, folks, welcome back from the Goodwill parking lot. We are back in Florida. We got some mean clouds yeah. behind us that might get in the way of uh, what we have planned today. We're going to do some thrifting for golf clubs and go to pawn shops like we always do. But today is very special. It is the opening day of the Daytona Tortugas, yes, our minor league baseball excited. team. Super excited. I couldn't find my Tortugas hat, but I'm wearing the Jamestown Jammers one instead. Yeah, we are repping the uh, minor league baseball teams. We had to come back into town and cut our uh, trip a little bit short yeah. because I had a knee specialist doctor's appointment I couldn't reschedule. No, but, but it went well. Yeah, the, yeah that is... That is the highlight. Our <laughs> knee specialist uh, doctor thing went well, so yes. we are good to go and playing some golf, but today we are going thrifting for golf clubs and trying to find some clubs at pawn shops, mm -hmm. and then the grand plan is to go to the Daytona Tortugas yep. opening night. Weather permitting. Yeah, and it's Taco Tuesday, so. Win-win. Hopefully we have a win-win-win-win. Win-win-win-win. With tacos. Yes. But let's see what they got for us in the uh, Goodwill today. Haven't even made it back to the golf clubs yet, and we've already found some uh, golf stuff. Those are actually uh, Junior uh, Skechers golf yeah, shoes. But, but they fit me. Yeah, they fit Ashley. Also, there's like 30 pairs of uh, Jordans in here. Uh -huh. Yeah, you don't need to see the Jordans, but there are like 30 pairs in there. Let's see if uh, they've got any golf clubs for us. Got a couple of golf bags. Let's see what we got in here. We got uh, Wilson Pro stuff, got a US Kids Junior. I think this is yeah, a tailor made. Uh, yeah, it's a tailor-made burner. I think it's burner oversize or something like that. Or mid-size, that's what mid it was. <laughs> yep. I thought these were Ping I 3s. Ping I 3 knockoffs. And we got some uh, tailor-made burner knockoffs. <laughs> you, when you find one knockoff, it's usually uh, loaded with yeah. knockoffs. You got an Air Bear right here. That's pretty cool. It has like the old uh, wooden uh, kind of uh, color outline on yeah, a metal. Yeah, cool design on the metal. Yeah. Some of the Nicholas stuff is really good. And if you're like just starting out with like a beginner budget and stuff mm -hmm. like that those yeah, are definitely really worth like the, most of the air bear arms. yeah the air bear offsets those are mm -hmm. super good especially if you slice it so yep. definitely a good pickup but we are getting Ashley some uh, Skechers Go golf shoes sweet. sweet all right the weather isn't looking the greatest for our game later on today but this surf store we've had pretty good luck in the past kind of hit or miss on golf clubs but they always have some really cool stuff so let's see what they got for us today all right looks like they've got a ton of clubs in and this is, is that one those dog grooming or yeah, like where they like show the dogs at like a dog show. Or like when you're grooming them, you like put the leash on oh, so yeah. they stay still. Yeah. I don't know. $16.91 if you're interested in that. But let's take a look at the uh, golf clubs here. Got some Julius Boros Wilsons. It might be a full set of those. You got some uh, Spaldings. It kind of looks like the uh, Yonex ADX right there. Mm -hmm, those are kind of cool. But tons of clubs. I don't remember them being uh, individually priced. Yeah, I think it's a full set. The uh, Spaldings are over here too. Uh, we got a uh, Super Concord, very similar to the Adams Tight Lies right there. And got some more uh, Wilson irons. Over oh, I think this is a full bag of uh, these shafts or window blinds. I have, I think. Looks the, like both. Yeah, it kind of <laughs> looks like a, a mixture of uh, both of them. But those are all like wood shafts. Those would be uh, pretty expensive right there. We got a liquid metal, one of the uh, original, or at least when I grew up, uh, like as seen on TV clubs. Those are kind of cool. You got a full set of uh, Rams, but. Definitely way more clubs than the last time we were in mm -hmm. here. Also, if you guys are interested in that dog uh, thing, thing, yeah, it's here. It's here for you. <laughs> All right, no golf clubs in there, but funny enough, Ashley found me a pair of slippers, I know. and I found her a shirt. We just work well together. Look at this one, the uh, Okeechobee one. Aww. That thing is awesome. Okeechobee Music Festival. It looks like a Grateful Dead T-shirt almost. Yeah, that's why. Then I got some uh, LL Bean slippers. So not. A total the waste. Cashier, so they look comfy. The cashier was complimenting my slippers? Yeah. That's when you know we made it. Good, how are you? Man, you guys missed a lot of clubs. Oh, you had a ton? <laughs> I'll talk to you in a second. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, they were just telling us how they had a ton of clubs in here. We missed out. We were out of town. Mm -hmm. That would have been a uh, good pickup. But I think actually the guy that we go to from the Daytona flea market bought all of them. Yeah, so we'll be able to see them. Yeah, we'll there. be seeing them uh, sooner or later. But they got a bunch of uh, different clubs in from last time we were here. They got a Ray Cook putter. Looks like some uh, Tiger Sharks. Got some old uh, burners, burner bubbles. What'd you get? Big Bertha 460. I don't oh, think nice. I've seen this one. I haven't seen that one either. Looks like it's uh, very dry biased. Face is closed. You can tell from <laughs> that might uh, fix my uh, little fade that there we got going go. on lately. But oh, you got a uh, Nike uh, Sumo. I think this is the uh, 5000. 
Nike Sumo 5000. Yeah, it's a little bit worn out, but I think that is the 5000 yeah, or some looks, some sort of numberish thing there. That yeah, area. I think uh, Trevor Lindemann used that to uh, win the uh, Masters. Don't quote me on that though. We got the Adams uh, tight lies over there. And I think this is a burner. Yeah, burner seven wood. Bummed that we uh, missed out uh -huh. on all of those clubs. They usually have a bunch of good stuff, so. Bummed about that. We got a couple of uh, burner hybrids over here. How much are those going for? Fourteen ninety nine. That's mm -hmm. a heck of a deal. This place always gets like good clubs in, and they just like mark them like very reasonably. Mm -hmm. Well, super bummed that we missed out on those clubs, but we had a lot of fun on our road trip, so it's more than evened out. But we'll meet you at the next spot. All right, they have a ton of clubs, and they also have a, a vintage crock pot. So I don't think we're gonna see Ashley for a minute. But let's see what the uh, golf clubs are. Oh. The Look at this bag. Oh, I just said that she's not going to be over here. Ashley, check out this bag. <laughs> we can check out the crock pots later. Look at that Bridgestone bag. <laughs> that thing is cool. awesome. I haven't seen a uh, Bridgestone old school uh, staff bag before. Mm -mm. That one's really cool. We picked up one that, a, that was in like terrible condition. The yes. uh, the traditional like black and yellow uh, Bridgestone mm -hmm. one. You just but, don't uh, see them that often. Yeah, you don't see them for, like ever. We got a uh, Vokey wedge. And, oh man, these things are totally rusted out. They're supposed to be like that, but sometimes the uh, grooves will rust over. Yeah, oh, yeah, those are lefty, but those would be fun to uh, restore. Then I think we've got some, uh, oh, you got a bunch of golf balls in there. An ice cream container full. Ice cream <laughs> container full. We got uh, some Betty Jamesons, a founding member of the LPGA Tour, I think. Got a Cleveland Vast 7 wood. Oh, man, can't pass that up. One of the, the irons are like one of the ugliest irons of all time. But uh, Corey Pavin used them to win the, uh, I think, the U.S. Open, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. The, these look better than the irons. <laughs> yeah, they, those look better than the irons for sure. Oh, we got a ripstop wedge right here. This is like the newer one, an illegal wedge. This place is full of all weird stuff. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah, I'm going to try the uh, ripstop wedge. I might get those, uh, the Vokey and the Cleveland to restore them. That'd be kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, we'll let you know. You're going to get the uh, crock pot? I'm going to go back to looking at them now. <laughs> We're going to go look at those for now, but we'll meet you at the next yeah. spot. All right, just checked in at the golf course, and I know I said I wasn't going to get any more golf bags, but I couldn't resist myself at that last surf shop. That Bridgestone bag was just too cool. Plus, John plays Bridgestone iron, so it wasn't really very hard to convince him to pick it up. But the first hole is about 100 yards. John's probably going with the illegal edge, and then I'm not really sure what I'm playing, but we'll meet you up there. Oh, well, Ashley went a little bit left, and my ball landed probably like 15 feet left of the pin and spun like dead sideways. That uh, legal wedge definitely had some spin, and we were downwind, so it's kind of hard to spin it. But uh, I got like a, uh, well, for anybody else but me, it's a tap in for birdie. Let's see if Ashley can't get it up and down. But this Bridgestone bag is so cool. I looked it up online, I couldn't find a single one on eBay or anywhere, basically. So I'm glad that we picked it up. I'm not sure how much it's worth, but we also picked up a few other clubs that we'll show you here in a second in a second but let's see what Ashley can do oh nice shot sit 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 oh. nice pot all right that one's good is mine good? You're good I don't think you can take it for a you can't yeah yeah you get what I'm saying you can't take it for a birdie Boom. all right even I could have missed that putt next hole is 64 yards dead into the wind which I'm sure you guys can hear we got a new camera I'm not sure how it's gonna hold up in the wind but I think the picture is a little bit better than the GoPro, so hopefully you guys are enjoying that. Let us know in the comments if it's any good. But uh, I'm gonna go with the uh, chipper, keep it under the wind. I don't even know if we showed you the chipper. We were enthralled with the uh, bag and the uh, crock pot in the uh, thrift store, but let's see what we can do here. Oh, well, that was lucky. I don't think it's as close as it looks. There's a little bit of a hill right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is right at it. Just short, yeah. We'll have a uh, putt off. Yeah. We got to hit that uh, Cleveland Vast 7 wood. That thing is so ugly, but I have a feeling you're going to hit it pretty good. Yeah. We'll go to the, the long hole after this one. We can hit it there. Oh, that is right at it. Oh, nice shot. <laughs> Well, that is my first birdie in quite a while. John said it was breaking right edge. I said left, so I just hit it right in the middle. Compromise. But the next hole is about 100, what did you say, 130? Yeah. 130 yards. I'm going with the Cleveland Vast 7, and you're probably going with the chipper, right? Yeah. Cool. Wow. 
That was crushed. It was too much into the wind, but yeah. look at. It looks really strange. Yeah, but... it's, it's like if uh, you made like a retro '90s looking club. Yeah, yeah graphics, everything looks super yeah, it's weird. So cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Huh. All right. Yeah, I guess it works. Let's see if we can't end off the golf session here with a uh, another birdie. Mm -hmm. If not, we'll meet you at the uh, baseball game. Hopefully. Hopefully. It looks like the uh, clouds are gonna hold off, or the rain's gonna hold off. Yeah. It's pretty windy though. at the baseball game. <laughs> Actually, might chip in. We'll show that. Yeah. Nature. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. HB Grand Slam. Our, our favorite is still the uh, Wilson one. Mm -hmm. No one cares. We'll meet you at the baseball game. We'll meet you. All right, folks, it's actually the next day, but we made it to the baseball game. Yeah. I didn't. I thought it would be kind of weird if we uh, did the intro saying they were going to go to a baseball game that we didn't end up going to yes. one, but last night it had a huge rain delay, yeah. and it was lightning and stuff, so we didn't go. But tonight we have made it out, and it's not Taco Tuesday. It is Belly Busters Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get some food. Also, we're going to take a look around the uh, park because it is Jackie Robinson Ballpark. Yeah, it's, it's a where cool he played, stadium. Yeah, it's where he played his first uh, professional game, so they got a bunch of stuff out here, like mm -hmm. his high jump and uh, long jump. Is that high jump? His vertical. All a bunch of uh, cool stuff. We but can't do either. Yeah, let's go uh, watch some baseball, get some food. Yeah, sounds, sounds good. fun. All right, here we go. Proof we are at Jackie Robinson Ballpark and Museum. If you want to learn more about him, you can pause the screen. He basically got varsity letters in all four sports, broke the color barrier in baseball, an extremely talented person and athlete. And then over there is his vertical, 11 feet, 6 inches, which is a lot more than I can do. Also, those clouds don't look very good. But here is his uh, long jump over here, UCLA athlete. If you want to learn more, you can pause it here, but basically... Definitely one of a kind athlete. Yeah, definitely a one of a kind athlete, and the overall ballpark is uh, pretty cool mm -hmm. too, so we'll uh, keep exploring. Yep. Oh! Foul ball! That was amazing timing. Oh, also that guy just uh, fell. I missed the fall, I got the... Uh, <laughs> uh, Oh. No, I got the foul ball. You're lucky. <laughs> All right, folks, just like that, we are back in the car. Those threatening clouds were more than threatening. Yeah, they succeeded. They succeeded. Yeah. Also, the uh, camera does not like my glasses. so oh, I can see you, so hopefully they can't do I'm naked. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> hope you guys did like this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. And yeah. If you're in the area, definitely check out the stadium. Yeah, definitely check out. If you have a, like, a minor league baseball team and uh, you like them, go and support them because a lot of them are closing down and everything. Yeah. So. Definitely uh, support some minor league baseball teams. And if you're in Daytona, definitely check it out. But hope you guys like this video. Yeah. See, you next, See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. And that's our cue. The train's leaving town. That was perfect. Lightning in the train. Ah, that was quick. For me.